Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now today guys, I'm very excited to say I have my Astrophytum Ornatum blooming beautiful for about the third, probably the fourth time this year. And it's early fall now, early autumn, and it is blooming beautiful again, as you can see. Look at that guys. And the flower was actually was open almost fully because it was a nice sunny morning and uh, it's a bit too bright in here to film so the sun has gone a little bit more overcast now and the flowers started to close a little bit but um, it's easier for me to film when it's like this but look at that guys just look at that beauty and I did make a video of this gorgeous cactus flowering a few months ago now in the summer a couple of months ago when it was blooming beautifully in the summer but this is just a bit of an update Aren't it re-blooming again? And just look at that gorgeous golden flower. And there you go, look at the flower underneath. It's absolutely beautiful. What's quite amazing is this, this is one of the Astrophyton family of cacti. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit in a minute. And what is quite beautiful about this particular one is that the spines are sort of almost like a light browny color and they match the actual flower. Like the flower has these lovely sort of brown little hairs going up and it matches perfectly with the, the gorgeous spines. Beautiful, it's one of the larger, as you can see there's my hand there, one of the larger um, astrophytums. There's quite a few, we have quite a few in our collection. Different types here. This is Astrophytum nudum. As you can see, they're lovely buds. This is gonna be getting ready to open as well, probably be flowering later today, if not tomorrow. And this is a particularly beautiful cactus because it has lovely felted, brown felted areoles or areoles, some people say both. And are areoles, areoles are where the little and new, uh, the spines and new growth of flowers come out of here. Absolutely beautiful there. And these are felted. And it's just a beautiful appearance of a cactus in itself. Really beautiful. It's a good one to have around young children and pets because it's completely spineless. It does actually have very, very tiny spines, but you'd never really feel them. You just feel the, the fuzziness, the fur of the lovely felted areoles. And this one here is an, ast an, an astrophytum capricorn and there's a few different types of the capricorn sometimes the spines will be very twisted and um, very long and different type of variants of this particular one but this one here is one of the more shorter spined um, capricorns and as you can see it sort of needs repotting because every time I've watered it the soil sort of come out I need to repot that probably now because it's getting pretty late in the year I prefer to keep these all dry I'll probably put a bit of top dressing on that to make it look a bit neater and I'll repot that probably next spring now and um, here's the ornatum and I've had this particular plant it must be I think I was about 23 when I bought this I can't really remember but I know I was in my early 20s anyway and I'm now nearly 50 so obviously I've had this particular cactus a very long time but it's blooming beautiful I've, again astrophytums are very aesthetically pleasing even when they're not in bloom they're, they are very beautiful plants very gorgeous I just wanted to share that with you and these particular plants they're quite cold hardy as long as you can give them as long as you don't water them at all from sort of mid fall sort of like late September early October up until sort of mid to late March depending on where you live in the world obviously and the climate but I keep these totally dry completely from from about now actually say so it's early fall now early early autumn late September and I have given all these particularly the last bit of watering now and um, even though they're flowering I won't water these now probably until the, the late probably the end of March next year or sometimes even the April depending on the weather and a cool and dry winter rest period will help to produce blooms the following season the following year and um, obviously the, these can take quite pretty cool temperatures but I keep the the polytunnel here at a minimum of five degrees Celsius which is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit and some of the the more sensitive cacti that need warmer to warmer temperatures and that are bring into the house to overwinter but the majority of all these you see here are going to be overwintered in the polytunnel and um, that's a little bit of a bit a bit random going off uh, topic there when I was talking about the flower but uh, I always like to share what little tips I can. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus.
power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.